Day 14, everybody. Nice little shelter there. Sorry, I got a mouthful of Pop-Tart. It's about 7.30. Sun's just coming up because the time changed the other day. And, <clears throat> and let me tell you something, it's cold this morning. And it's not supposed to get much warmer than this. So, yeah. That's what it is. So I just packed up and I'm gonna start walking because that's the best thing to get you warm. I was pretty warm last night. But hey, getting out of the bag. It's always a challenge. Alrighty. I think I got like 13 miles to walk today to Black Rock Hut. That's my objective. Me feels good. Really feels loose this morning. I did a lot of stretching in bed last night, so I hope it stays that way. Good morning, mushroom. Woo. And yeah, I think that's about it. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Two fellows came in later in the evening and they busted out a fire. They were up till about 10 o'clock. I don't think they understood the meaning of the word after midnight. But it is what it is. Uh, AT. Here we go. And I'm off. I'll show you what I see, you guys. Take care. It's a through the trees money shot, but boy, is it nice. Ooh, that sun shining on those other mountains over there. There's a town down there, or a group of houses, I guess. Yeah, I can't really see very well. It's flipping cold up here in this mountain. Let me tell you. Ugh. I'll be glad to go back down into the gap here in just a minute. Oh, beautiful morning. The sun wants to shine today and I hope it does because it's gold. There's a car up here. I thought the road was closed. Maybe it's not, who knows. Whew. Very nice. Oh my gosh, that is nice. Awesome, man. There you go, you can take a look at my ugly mug. Whew. Very nice. So last night, anyways, you know, usually in the winter time, I leave my socks on. And if my socks are a little damp, they uh, they dry overnight. And no problem, wake up next morning with dry socks. But last night my socks were too wet. And I spent like, I don't know, maybe an hour or two just shivering, knowing all along that it was my, my wet feet that were causing my problem. So I gave up on that project because uh, I knew they'd be dry, but I knew also I was kind of suffering leaving them on. So I took them off and I put them in my underwear right up against my hips, one on each side. And when I woke up this morning, they were both dry. So uh, just a little pro tip for keeping your socks or getting your socks dry overnight. And let me tell you, putting on warm socks or dry socks, warm and dry socks actually, um, is so much nicer than uh, wet cold socks for sure my shoes i tried to sleep with them last night but i had a last year i had like this wide sleeping pad this year i'm wearing you know using this narrow sleeping pad so that didn't work out and so i just let my shoes sit outside and by the time i woke up they were cold but they were dry so hey you know it worked out too and uh, my feet are are warm as can be right now even though it's probably 12 below zero it feels like whoo i'm gonna give you another shot behind me of the, the money shot and then I'm taking off. Whew.
All right, you guys take care. See you in a little bit. Look at that. Now that's a money shot right there. Look at that valley down there. Last year when Mushroom and I came through here, it was raining. I don't think we got this shot last year. It sure is pretty looking out towards the Atlantic Ocean. The mountains just kind of go away the further out you get. But that is a really pretty valley down there. That'd be a nice place to live, if you ask me. shot all right I'm up here around uh, loft mountain campground now, of course it's closed right now but if you get to this signpost and you go up this trail I believe there is a uh, camp store up there and you can get some resupply probably some snacks other things like that when it's open we rolled by here and we actually camped in the campground last year um, and we got here too late in the day because they closed at I think 5 and I think I rolled up there to go see what they had at 5.15 so we didn't get to go in there and get anything. If you stay at this campground when they're open you're going to have to pay. It's like 35 bucks. I actually paid last year but they were pretty much closed and I think I could have got away without paying because there was nobody but maybe three or four campers in the whole campground. And the ranger station was closed. So I think, you know, if you come up in here early enough, you might just be able to sneak out one of the campsites that's pretty close to the trail. They're just right up there in the hill a little bit around the corner, down this way a little farther. Alrighty. So I've seen three through the, three elbow through hikers today so far. Two of them unnamed and the last one pilgrim. Pilgrim is doing a kind of a flip floppy thing. He did Katahdin down to Vermont last fall. And then he started, I guess, early January down to Springer and has been hiking north. He's got a, a buddy with him and they're doing a two car thing. So uh, they don't uh, camp out a lot. They hike during, they kind of day hike and then go find a place to stay in town at night. So that's a pretty good way to do it, you know. It's comfortable, that's for sure. Still, even if you're hiking today, you're gonna to be suffering a little bit. This is kind of one of those embrace the suck days as far as this cold weather is concerned. But I don't really care. It's a beautiful day. I'm hiking, I ain't got no pain in my knee. And what else can you ask for? This trail is awesome. If you've never been out here, come on out here and try it one time. Pretty cool place. There's another one up there. You see it? How you doing today? There are three of them. Two more. Three more up there. Oh, they blend in good. I don't know if you can see them all. One to the left, and then two in the you know, one in the middle, and then one you can see the butt right between those two trees. Pretty awesome. I spy with my little eye. You. What you doing? Roads open again seen a couple of cars today look at this one you guys wow that is so pretty it's definitely a money shot it might even be the money shot of the day beautiful that is 
just awesome. No wind. Feels good. <laughs> Sun shining on me. Warms you right up. So yeah, I was reading a couple of comments about the cemetery I walked by a few days ago. And uh, I kind of figured there was something going on like that where um, all of the descendants of the original inhabitants of these mountains get to be buried up here, which seems kind of odd and strange to me that that's the consolation prize you get for uh, getting kicked off the mountain, you know, because that's the dark side of the story here. Shenandoah National Park is a great park. It's awesome. It's a great place for people to go and enjoy the outdoors, but it comes at a price, you know, it comes at a price of uh, how many families, who knows how many families had to pack up all their stuff and go somewhere else because the government decided to buy all this land and um, they kicked them off their land. And a lot of these people were probably second or third generation homesteaders come over from England or other places in Europe. Here comes the wind. The story might have to be finished some other time. Here, let me see if I can get up here a little bit. and eked out, a, eked out a little bit of paradise for themselves. Then uh, our United States government comes along and says, sorry, but we're gonna have a national park here. Y'all are gonna have to go live somewhere else. And, and they got displaced. You know, what's a homesteader who comes up here, farms, hunts, uses the land to live off of, gonna do down in town. They don't have any skills down there. And I'm sure it was just a, a real, depressing time for those families and Shenandoah National Park isn't the only place that's happened you know all of these dams that were built in the Tennessee Valley uh, tons of people got displaced off of their homesteads because of those dams and other projects too that the government felt the need to do and and yeah you know if you think about it like Spock the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few sometimes but I'm not sure that, you know, they were equally compensated for what they had to go through. There should have been some sort of like kind exchange where government bought land on some other mountain and offered to those people for free, uh, gave them some money to build a new house and do all the things that they needed to do to set back up again, you know? Maybe that happened, I don't know. I doubt it though. Sometimes our government, in the name of progress, steps on the toes of people and uh, it hurts. You know, I can only imagine what they went through. So, you know, enjoy the park, but don't forget the sacrifices that some people had to go through to make this park happen and other things too. All righty. Shoot, it's only 12 o'clock or 12.30. I'm like three miles away from this shelter. And I know I gotta stop because I gotta take care of this knee. I know I could hike another seven or eight miles today, easy. But I think the better choice is to stop there and um, make a day of it. Now, if the wind is blowing down there at that shelter, there's a stealth site about maybe a mile or two ahead of the shelter in a gap. And I might try for that too, if the wind is blowing. If the wind is calm there, then I very well may just stay there at the shelter. It's gonna be kind of hard sitting around all afternoon though, especially when it's cold. Alrighty, I'm gonna get down there and uh, we'll see what's going on. Y'all take care. Welcome to Black Rock Mountain. <laughs> it's crazy. This mountain is just like a big giant pile of boulders. How in the heck did that happen? It's amazing. And look at that. Holy cow. One shot right from the get go. Not the gecko, but the get-go. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. 
You can see some really green fields down there. I think they got uh, fescue in. It's coming in and, and uh, really brightening up the valley. Very nice. All right, I gotta go around the other side and then I can get up on top of this mountain. Yeah, look, you can see kind of right here, just a bunch of shale, it looks like. And I think it was just a lot taller at one point and earth forces just made the rocks fall. Pretty amazing. Crazy. Let's go around the other side and we can get up on this. Me and Mushroom, we spent probably half an hour or 45 minutes up on top of this thing. We were just amazed. This is kind of the first view coming northbound, I think. I mean, the first good one, the first true money shot, you know. On this other side, it is easier to climb. I'm going to make a go of it. Reminds me of Katahdin. Look at that. That's off to the southwest. And then you get the eastern mountains over there. And then you get that mountain in the way and then you get the Shenandoah Valley again. You can see that ridge over there. Do, 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 do. All the way down. I wonder if they have a trail on that mountain. I think the first uh, valley is the Shenandoah Valley. And I don't know what the other valley is, but it looks like it like really spreads out into a big giant valley there. I have to take a drive down there someday. It looks interesting. Very cool. More of the ridge and valley province over there. And I think way over there, I think that's Plateau Province over there. I don't know. I could be wrong. No wind up here, though. That's nice. Almost done with my hike today. Very nice. This is Black Rock Mountain Hut. Mushroom and I stopped here last year for some water and an emergency commiseration. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be my home for tonight. It's a little windy down here, but the wind's supposed to stop when the sun goes down. So, nevertheless, though, it's going to be a cold one. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking I'm going to sleep in this shelter tonight. <clears throat> yeah. I think I'm going to tuck myself back in that little corner right there. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to set up and I'll come back for the wrap up after a while. Biscuits and gravy. This is pretty good stuff. These backpacker meals have a lot of good, good uh, food. Pretty happy. Well, that's a wrap on day 14, about 13 miles, and I'm done at 2.30. We didn't get started till almost 8 o'clock, but my body says, yeah, you can keep going if you want, but my brain says, maybe we better just take it easy for a while and make sure everything's okay with the old knee and uh, go from there. My knee feels really good right now. Not a, not a bit of pain. It wants to it wants to do everything that I need it to do, and so I'm pretty happy about it. We'll just have to see how it goes. I saw three through hikers today, um, so that makes our total four for the for the trip so far, and. Uh, all the well, except for the one guy. The one guy was a uh, he was a kind of a flip flopper, and he was doing um, he did like uh, Maine to Vermont last fall, and then he started early, and uh, he's hiking all the way up to Vermont. So the other the other three guys that have been through hikers have been you know these younger guys uh, that are just 
you can tell they're just really pushing miles and pushing hard, pushing fast. So um, I expect I'll probably see some more tomorrow and the next day. Might even get one or two in here tonight. Who knows? I'm setting up in the shelter trying to stay out of the wind. The wind's supposed to go away at sunset, but who knows? It's going to be another cold night. It's like it's going to be 24 degrees. And it's only 35 right now, I bet. It's cold. And uh, it's only like 3.30. And I'm ready to eat and ready to get in the bag. I'll be in there for about 14 hours, I bet. Maybe 15. Yeah, I think that's about all for today. Pretty good day. If it wasn't so cold, it would have been a perfect day. But... You have to deal with Mother Nature when you're out here. That's the way it goes. And uh, you can either embrace it or not. And if you don't embrace it, you're going to be miserable. So I choose to embrace it because every experience is a, is a different one. And every experience has uh, its qualities. And today was, was nice. Oh, yeah, we got to go up to Black Rock Mountain today. That was one of uh, Mushroom and I's favorite uh, places here in the Shenandoahs. And it's kind of like the first, if you're going north, it's kind of like the first uh, 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 really nice view that you see. So it was cool. It, I, I didn't scramble up on the rocks like I did last year as much because I was just worried about my knee. I didn't want to like mess that thing up trying to like uh, get a money shot, that's for sure. Thanks for everything, you guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. And uh, Mushroom, if you're watching, I miss you, and I hope you're doing good. I'm doing just fine. I'm just cold. And uh, I'll see you, I guess, in about less than two weeks now. So, And uh, if that works out where we see each other every couple of weeks, I think that's going to be just fine. It gives us time to recharge and, and spend some time together. And... Uh, I think that'll that'll work out pretty good. Okay, well, I think that's all for me. Y'all take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.